subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up people out there? This is me Asis Johan from Azure Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today in this for video, we are going to create a very unique aqua blue type uh, color tone with you know very trendy Instagram portrait like moody portrait of Instagram. Very high end retouching we would be doing with uh, aqua blue color. So before getting to the video just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this and if you still haven't subscribed the channel then do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will notify whenever I post new video and log on to our website that is www.aspirecreations.com from there you can find new background png color lookup camera preset lightroom preset color lookup and loots and you know backgrounds every kind of photo editing stuff for free so go and check it out you can download it from there so let's jump to the photoshop open the photo which you want to edit now let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool from here and click on this plus icon to make the selection now all you have to do is just select the subject very properly now just right click on it and select layer copy option to make it selected or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard here we made the duplication of the layer of the subject now all you have to do is just uh, go to the file click on open and let's add some background to the photograph so i will add the background and let's browse the background here we have opened the background now just drag it and drop over here now just press ctrl T to make it transform or to transform it now all you have to do is just go to the filter and go to the blur and select Gaussian box blur and make it to around 55% pixels now all you have to do is just to press ctrl T to make it transform just increase the size and select the area which you want in your photo you can just increase like this way You can place anywhere like over here. So finally if you have just transform made the transformation just press enter and press ok. Now go to this uh, crop tool and select the 1 by 1 ratio. Select the square ratio and just crop the image for your profile picture. So we'll just crop the image which you want in your final profile picture. So here we have almost completed our cropping. And just press enter. So here we have made the crop. Now we'll make the hair of the subject. So just uh, select the smudge tool from here, select the hard round brush and just move on the upward direction as we do in every photo to make the hair of the subject. 
just like this way you have to smudge the hairs Do on the both side very properly. You can increase or decrease the size of the brush and just to do the smudge very properly. So that no one can identify whether it is a real or edited one. Now let's uh, make the burn on the edge of the hair. So select the burn tool and just make it more darker the hair. Only on the edge of the hairs, just make it more darker. So here we have almost done our darkening process. Let's smudge a little bit over here. Now, now let's add some bokeh to the photograph. First of all, we will just blur the edge of the subject. So I will select the blur tool from here, change the strength to around 40% and just make it a blur a little bit, only the edges. Because this is very important if you want to make it look more realistic and natural, you have to blur the edge of the subject. This is how you have to make it blur. Make sure no part is remaining to make it blur. Also blur on the edge of the face also. on the face, on the ears, every portion it should be blurred very properly so that viewer can't be identified, cannot identify whether your photo is edited or real one so we are blurring the edges it won't look like we have cut out the image By blurring the edge, the background will be automatically merged with the subject. So your photo and uh, you know subject will look very original, like you have captured from the camera. So it will look very original, which we actually want. So just we are doing the blurring process. So finally here we have completed our blurring process. Now all you have to do is just to smudge a little bit on the face of the subject. So select the mixture brush from here and just load to 36, wet to 33, 35, low. This is everything you have to keep in mind and just to make it the correction. And just to do a little bit of retouching on the skin and just smooth the skin a little bit also do on this portion also
just to do a very minor retouching because it should not be look like we have edited or skin is unrealistic. So just to do a little bit of touching only. So here we have made the uh, corrections on the face and all. Now all you need to do is just to go to the levels. Click on the clipping mask and just move the slider from left to right until the data starts from here and just increase a lightness from the left to the right to left here you can see the before and after effect a very huge difference can be seen on the photo now just merge both the layers now let's go to the file click on open and just add this bokeh image to the photograph just drag and drop over this tab go to the edit select free transform and just change the blending mode to screen and just uh, press ctrl l from the keyboard and make it a little bit of darken <coughs> so here we have made the level correction now just press ctrl D and just flip it horizontal way just drag it and place over any of the area or the image wherever you want to add this bokeh you can add it Now let's go to the color lookup, select the any of the loot file from here, let's select peel and orange loot file, then again select uh, hue and saturation from here and click on this hand tool and just move the slider to around blue color. decrease the saturation so here you can see the before and after effect of the photo Now if you want to add some vignette on the photograph you can add or just press uh, ctrl m from the keyboard and just move or slide it a little bit Let's uh, take one more skin tone so select red color from here even saturation move a slider to allow a little bit of plus minus so here you can see the before and after effect now all we have to do is just merge both the layers all the layers you have to merge it again first of all we'll add some snow particles on this photo so just drag and drop over this tab press ctrl t to transform it and just change the mode to screen and just place anywhere over here 
and if you don't want some particles you can remove it by using the eraser tool and just uh, erase some unwanted particles from the subject from the image let's delete this you can delete small big particles if you want to delete also remove from the face Now, if you want to remove some other particles, you can remove it also. Now, this one looks very realistic, so I'll just keep this. So just merge all the layers, right click on it and select merge layers and again just go to the first of all let's crop the image. Now let's go to the filter, select camera filter. And just add Vignetti on the photograph. So let's go to the effects tab and just add vignette on the photo. So this will create a very dark tone on the photograph. Just move the feather to around 80%. So here you can see the before and after effect. It really looks very stunning. And a very moody perfect Instagram portrait like. And now just press OK. So finally here we have edited very high end retouching like instagram portrait moody portraits so here you can see the before and after effect of the photo it really very looks very very perfect example for the teal and you know very aqua bluish color i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video then press the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you haven't pressed the bell icon just press it and log on to our website that is www.aspirgurations.com from there you can find new background png color lookup and camera preset every kind of photo editing stuff for free so go and check it out from there well thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video